is Salim Khan and today I have a new chapter that is center of mass. So since center of mass today is the first video over center of mass. So in this video we will learn about what is center of mass and about the position of center of mass in a system of two particles. So first of all what is center of mass? So center of mass we can define as in any system of particles there will be such a point on which the mass okay generally it is totally mass so the mass will be equals to the entire mass of this system just like example i can give to you suppose i have a uniform rod later what i say that the length of the uniform rod is L and the mass of this total mass of this is capital M okay the total length is okay capital L while the total mass of this rod is capital M later I say that on this uniform rod there will be also such a point where the mass to where the mass at the point will be capital M means what is the total mass of rod capital M and such only uh, such a point will be on which only on the same point the total mass will be capital M. So wh where that point will be? So I can tell that that point will be at L by 2. The, and this kind of point is known as the center of mass or the COM. So where there is the COM or center of mass in this case? At L by 2. This is the point L by 2. This total is L then it's half is L by 2. Now we can see that here we can focus one thing that if in such a rod it is at L by 2 the center of mass. So in all other kinds of things also it is at L by 2. No in all things it is not at L by 2. In different kinds of objects different kinds of systems it varies from system to system. So today mainly we will be discussing about the position of center of mass in a system of two particles. So. First of all, for a system of two particles, suppose two particles or each of mass m1 and m2. Here I write that this is a particle of mass m1. Then I write this is a particle of mass m2. And the separation between m1 and m2 is d. Later I say where the center of mass of this will be. Of course, suppose that the center of mass or the COM is here. Means whatever is the mass M1 and M2, M1 plus M2. So here is M1 what M1 plus M2. Means the total mass of this system. At this point it will be the total mass of this system. But what is the position of this? If we have to exactly define the position, how we can. So for defining position, what later when physicists were okay, just like try failing in this to define the position, then they said that suppose that the distance between or the separation between the center of mass and M1 is R1, while between the center of mass and M2 is what R2. Then later they said that R1 will be just inversely proportional to M1 while R2 will be just inversely proportional to the M2. Like this we can do if we bring equality symbol in this then R1 will be equals to what equals to K by M1 where K is again proportionality constant and R2 will be equals to what K by M2. Done. Now suppose this is the equation first while this is the equation second and if we divide equation first and equation second then what we get R1 by R2 is what K by M1 by K by M2. This is K and K cancel which is again what M2 by M1. So from here what we can get we can get a nice conclusion from this that R1 by R2 is what? R1 by R2 is what? It is M2 by M1. This is a very important equation. Okay. So in many kinds of cases you can see that find out the position of the center of mass. So easily you can define where R1 is the separation between M1 and center of mass while R2 is the separation between M2 and the center of mass. So you can define easily it. Uh, to it easily you can just like very easily only how you will be doing by taking r1 and r2 means you will say that r1 is equals to this so you can also say that the center of mass is at a distance r1 from mass m1 and r2 from mass m2 okay and by giving the values you can define so example if we want then easily we can take suppose here is a mass m1 is equals to 1 kg okay and 
here is the mass m2 is equals to 2 kg later what i say that the separation between this and this is d is equals to 3 meters later i say suppose that the com or the center of mass is here then what exactly is the position of center of mass so what i can write of course what we will be doing in this case what is the distance between m1 and com r1 and between com and m2 r2 r1 and r2 both values we do not have then no problem only what we'll be doing suppose r1 is x then r2 will be what 3 minus x of course 3 minus x because actually r2 in this case if this total is 3 meters total is 3 meters this is x and if we want this out of this so this if we are getting out from this total then this we are getting so this is equals to what this minus this so r2 is again 3 minus x so if we want then we can write r1 by r2 is again what m2 by m1 implies that the r1 means x by 3 minus x means r2 is equals to what m2 by m1 m2 is again 2 kg m1 is 1 kg so 2 by 1 got it now if we want cross multiplication we can try x is equals to what 6 minus 2x from this x value we can easily get so x is equals to what 2 meters x is 2 meters means if this distance is 3 meters this will be obviously 2 meters means r1 is what x which is again 2 meters r2 if we want so 3 minus x again 3 minus 2 which is again 1 meter means r1 is 2 meter and r, r2 is 1 meter so if you want to define the position of the center of mass in this case so you can call that the center of mass is located 2 meters at a separation of 2 meters from the m1 and at a separation of 1 meter from the m2 easily you can do but in some cases those kinds of uh, things may okay mainly take a lot of time so if you want to do it in short so you can apply this equation that r1 is is equals to m2 by m1 m2 plus m1 okay in bracket times d okay this is one equation and r2 is m1 by m1 plus m2 again in bracket times d those are also two important equations if you want this by those two equations also you can solve this problem if you want easily we can do so let us try by this equation also one time okay so if we want to try through this equation so easily we can do again r1 is what m2 by m2 plus m1 this whole is in bracket times d d already had given m2 by m2 plus m1 this also we had so m2 what is 2 kg again 2 divided by this will be again in bracket so bracket 2 by so again m2 plus m1 so 2 plus 1 3 into d okay into then 3 3 and 3 cancel which is again 2 meters easily we got so what thing here we had done so um, by so late we can easily get out from here and r2 then if we want then again it is what m1 by m1 plus m2 times d and m1 by m1 plus m2 was in bracket so easily we can do m1 means 1 by 1 plus 2 uh, 2 that is again 3 into again d means 3 3 and 3 cancel 1 meter so 2 meter and 1 meter r1 is again 2 meters and r2 is again 1 meter so if you want same problem you can solve using this equation okay this whole equation r1 by r2 is m2 by m1 or if you want same problem you can do by this equation that r1 is equals to m2 by m2 plus m1 times d while r2 is what m1 by m1 plus m2 times d where those uh, quantities this m2 by m2 plus m1 and m1 by m1 plus m2 those are just in brackets means first you are, you'll have to solve the bracket later you will multiply by d and then easily you can get so mainly this is about the position of center of mass in a system of two particles so mainly this was my today's video thank you